Hey guys, Todd here, product manager for SolidWorks at Hawk Ridge Systems. Uh, let's look at making bulk selections, that is making selections of groups of entities as opposed to a single one by one selection. We have a belt guard here and let's get to the underlying foundational sketch and we'll add our design intent to this sketch and lock it down and while we're doing it we'll look at all the methods available to us for uh, doing bulk selection. So the default, the one where we've always been used to, depend, uh, regardless of which uh, version that you've used in the past or are using now, that is the uh, great integration of just the standard Windows box selection. The way it works is just a left click on your mouse, click and drag a box. Okay, now there's a couple things to be aware of here. When you go up to down or down to up, that does not matter but left to right or right to left, that does matter. So in this case, I'm going left to right as you look at my screen. The box is blue, that's an indication that it's only going to select the entities that are completely bounded by the shape. Okay, in that case, it would be the arc and the circle. And uh, just a note here, I've changed my selection colors to a bright orange here so you can clearly see what's getting picked up and what's not. Now the opposite of that is a crossing window or right to left. Same thing, left click, drag, notice the window is green. This is telling me not only am I going to get the internal entities, the arc and circle, but other entities that cross the boundary of this box. And that would be these two lines here. Okay, so when you're aware of that, you can use these to, this mode to either make very large selections of things or somewhat more specific selections while avoiding some things. So it's a great, uh, it's a great technique. Hopefully you're aware of it. If not, you are now and um, you can use it to your uh, success here. Now there is another mode because there are certain situations that you can get yourself in where a box select is just not going to do it. And I'm too lazy to lift my hand up and hold the control button and make individual selections. So I want to use uh, just my mousing hand here. So let's say my design intent is these two circles are diameters and they need to be the same no matter what. So smart thing to do rather than individually uh, dimensioning those is to make them equal. Well, I need to select them first. So I'll do a crossing window as long as I pick up those two circles. But you'll notice because of the corner of that box, there's no way I can get the circle without accidentally picking up this line because this line crosses the corner of that box. So I have to keep hitting control D select. And that defeats the whole purpose of trying to make these fast selections and get my sketches done quicker and just generally to be faster modeler. Okay, no matter what I try, I can't quite get just the circles, but not the line. All right, so this is a good situation where I would use this other mode that's now available to us in 2014 and beyond. For those of you who use photo editing software, you might be familiar with it. It's called Lasso Selection, and it allows me to draw a freeform shape as opposed to a box. So it's a little more controlled, and I can be a little more focused and get only the things I want. So to start out, how do I get that mode? How do I turn it on? Well, at the system level, can't remember where it is, but that's what search is for, right? I know it's called lasso. There we go. It's under display selection. So bulk selection method. This, there's a control for this now because we did now have two modes. We have the box and the lasso. All this does is going to tell, tell SOLIDWORKS when, it, when you start a new session which mode to default to. The good news is it doesn't really matter because it's just a right click away. So when you're in a sketch, it's just a toggle one mode or the other and again neither one is the answer for all situations so you want to be able to switch quickly between the two because they both serve their their purposes here so now I change it to lasso let's look at that first situation where I was just making these selections here with the box um, I'm going to do a clockwise selection okay I'm drawing this a rough circle you know a freeform shape you notice it's blue Blue is the same as the left to right box selection. So what that tells me is, again, it's only going to select the things that are completely inside of that shape I draw. Okay, The opposite or the analog to the right to left box selection would be a counterclockwise box. Notice how it's now green. This means it's going to pick up the internal entities as well as any crossing entities, just like that. 
Okay, so now this is a perfect situation to use the lasso to get just these two circles. You see how easy it is to avoid that line now? That's what this is for. So I have just that. Let's go a little further. The good news is, uh, just in a usability sense, is that I, you don't have to completely draw a closed loop shape every single time like I've been doing. As long as you just do a swipe, and again, you need to tell it, you need to give it a rough counterclockwise or clockwise motion because you need to tell it which type of selection it is. Um, but as long as you just swipe it past those objects and touch them, uh, you will select those. Okay, so let's make that relation now. So now that you know that, there are some really nice ways you can use this. Uh, let's say uh, I want to get maybe just these three lines. So to do that with a box select, I, I, uh, that's not possible. So here I'll use the lasso select. I'll make sure it's a counterclockwise because I just need crossing. And you can see where I touched just the three lines, but I was able to avoid the arcs and circles, and so I picked up just the three lines. That's a lot faster than control selecting three times. So this is the kind of thing where you would use lasso select. So just remember, it's just a right click away. Be sure to look for it if you're using 2014 and beyond uh, to make yourself a lot faster modeler and just a generally fast SOLIDWORKS user.